Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with my Orion 55 watt laser cutter. Friends, it's time to do some testing. Let's fire up that laser and get cracking. All right, friends, so the first test is the accuracy of the laser. Put a piece of the included tape right here. All right, friends, so I've got my laser in, and I'm going to send a pulse. Let's see how close that was to the middle of the piece of tape. Do make sure you remember to remove the piece of tape. That's pretty decent. If it's not decent, you adjust these screws to get it so it's perfect. Let's check it in the front. All right, friends, so this is the included tape. I'm going to just pull off a piece. I'm going to move the laser forward so I can see it better. Easier to reach this part. Once again, we're just covering the hole. And then checking to see how close it is to shooting through. I'm going to close this so it's not coming at my eyes. Once again, let's hit pulse. And you can actually see it burn through there, I believe. Let's check the accuracy. I'm pleased with that, but of course, if you weren't, you just adjust the little screws. I'm going to move it all the way across. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And we're going to add a piece of tape here. All right, friends, so note I did remove the old tape. So that way it's got a clean path to shoot through. Fire up both the cameras. Let's see if we can actually record this pulse all the way across and see how accurate we are. That is pretty decent to the middle. I'll open this up so we can get a view. I like that. Let's do one more test underneath the laser. Once again, remove our tape. And I'm going to take the same tape and put it right over top of the laser. It's interesting you can actually hear the air assist. And let's hit pulse and see what we get out. And there you have it, friends. We are lined up and ready to do our first project. Alrighty, friends, so you can see now I'm in the software Light Burn. Right now I'm using the trial version. They give you 30 days to use it without any watermarks. Use it as much as you want so you get to find out if it's what you like. They also send a software on the disk called RDWorks. I will experiment with that, but I'm going to use this first because I see it recommended a lot. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a file. I'm going to do File Import, and I want to bring in one of the images we use in my class. We have got a project where we put our names on things. I'm going to grab Anna's right here. I'm going to move it up to the top left hand corner and then we cut with cardboard. So I'm going to set my speed at 65 and I'm going to do the power max at 20 and I'm going to do the power min at 20 and I'm going to tell it to do two passes. So now I'm going to save this to the USB drive they sent us. Simply move over here, hit save RD file, and I'm going to call it Anna test 3. I have done this once or twice already. I want to show you stuff that works, so that's why I'm trying to find the numbers that are perfect. When I hit save, it is ready to go. I'm going to go down here and eject that file. And let's take it over to the laser cutter. Let's adjust the bed. See if it does all four corners at once. That's not bad. All right, so we are back at the device. Everything's turned on. I'm plugging this into the top port. Uh, if you can't see around, that's how you can tell which is which. Let's zoom in on that controller a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. This is the old one I had loaded, so I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to go back to File. I'm going to move to the right using the arrow keys, and I want to read from a U-Disk, which is a USB disk. When you press Enter, it gets you to this screen. You can see that that one is highlighted so i'm going to hit enter again and then on this file you can see that i've got all the way down to anna 3. that's the one that we just created we are going to hit the arrow move over to copy and hit enter it copies it there's a little note that says hit enter so when we hit enter and now do escape you'll see that that anna shows up over here on the screen i like to come over here to track and when we press enter, we'll be able to see the laser trace where I had the cardboard. I did not have the cardboard perfect, 
So I'm going to slide it forward. I have dialed this up so that I've got the dot just where I want it. It took a few times practice in that as well to find the amount that I wanted. I'll hit track one more time just so we can see it. So all I'm doing is pressing enter. That will fit on the screen. Close the lid. Let's move up to run. And friends, let's let the laser go. See how we did? These are magnets I harvested from hard drives. And you can see the name Anna is almost cut perfectly through. I will keep dialing in my settings, but that's pretty darn close for my first couple attempts. And it's perfect for our classroom because the cardboard we get from the lunchroom is free. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, the Orion 55 watt laser up and running. Converting my brain from the Glowforge to the Orion is not that difficult. I'm getting closer as I keep working through the different settings. If you've got any questions or comments, make sure you share them. I'm learning this one brand new, just like you may be as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.